Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be reviewing my Hitachi brad nailer. This is a 2 inch brad nailer and it's Hitachi's NT50AE2. Uh, I bought this reconditioned from reconditionedsales.com. I think I paid uh, $53 for the nailer and the shipping was under $7 so for $60 bucks, I got this great nailer to my door. The nailer came with a case, a non-marking tip, and a male air fitting, and also some safety glasses. The case is a good case, although I really haven't used the case. I keep my nailer in a drawer. The non-marking tip hasn't left any marks for me, so I guess that's a good thing. And it stayed on the gun, so no complaints about the tip. The male air fitting is a good fitting. It came with some thread sealer already on the thread, so I didn't have to put any thread sealer tape on it and it hasn't leaked so now for the gun itself it's a pretty light gun it's a small gun so it feels good in the hand the grip is textured and it's rubber so it keeps the cold metal away from your hands and it you know it doesn't feel like you're going to drop it and the trigger is nice and easy the loading mechanism is just a slide like most brad nailers and it has a button on the back right here where you just slide it back to load your nails and it shoots from uh, 5 8 inch nails to 2 inch nails and I've shot nails all within this range and I've never had a misfire uh, never had a jam so this has been a great gun for me and also if you see this little piece of yellow here that is an indicator that indicates when your gun is about to be empty as the nails are shot and they dwindle down the yellow appears unless you know you're about to be empty this is useful because a lot of times I'll catch myself looking up at the gun and looking down to see if I'm empty or not. Now, if you ever do get a jam, it has a. You can open the front up here, and it. Oops! Well, look at there. What's, hmm. Well, you can tell that I've never had a jam because I've never opened it with nails in it. And it just shot the nails out. Well, anyways, it's easy to get to. You just pop it open, and you can get right in there. To where the nail might be jammed if it ever does jam on you but I uh, oil this gun every day before I use it and I've never ever ever haven't had a problem with it it's a great gun the little safety down here is on the inside of the gun so I like that because whenever I'm nailing I can I can see better where my nail is gonna go and rather than it being on the front I don't know it's just interesting. I like it like that. And here, this little switch, you can adjust it from single shot, like it's set on now, or you can adjust it to bump fire. So you can just hold the trigger and tap, tap, tap. I've actually never used that until before this review, and it, it worked just fine. But I usually keep it on single shot. Now, right under the trigger here is where you can adjust the depth of the nail. Now it has a little little indication here to show you which way to turn the knob to raise the nail head up or down. And it's you know pretty easy to turn this. You can see. And I use it quite often actually, and it works like a charm. Now on the top of the nail gun, you can adjust the exhaust, the direction of the exhaust. Right now I have it set to go straight out the front, but you can turn this easily to whichever direction you want the exhaust to come out. Now this whole bottom here, this is all plastic. The, you know, this whole piece here is all plastic except for of course up here at the front. But I've never noticed that it was plastic until today when I started looking closely at the nail gun. So, I mean, it feels good. This is very strong plastic. I think it's, you know, I think it'll last a long time and I don't know, it feels like a good plastic to me. Now I'm going to give you all a few test shots with the nail gun. This is on single shot. I just press the trigger and it shoots just fine. And then if I switch it over to bump fire, of course it'll bump nice and easy. No problems. And it's, you know, it's really not that loud. It's a great gun. But overall, I would definitely suggest buying this gun if you're in the market for a brad nailer. It's not very expensive but it's still a name brand, you know, 60 bucks to your door 
for a reconditioned tool that still comes with the full factory warranty and all that good stuff, I don't think you can beat it. And I got it reconditioned and when, it, when I opened the box, it looked brand new. And it still looks good today after, you know, pretty good bit of use in over two years. Alright, thank you for watching my tool review. If you want to see more of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel, Sailing and Such, or my blog, The Woodworking Trip. They both should be linked around here somewhere. And take care and build something.